What's going on guys, it's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about ways that you guys can grow your gaming YouTube channel so that way you can get more viewers, more subscribers, and overall, just grow on this platform. Now I want to preface this video by saying that this video, these tips and tricks are mainly for people who are really just looking to grow their fan base on YouTube, maybe get some more views, get some more subscribers, things like that. Um, you know, if you are just doing this as a hobby and you're just uploading whatever you feel like it and it doesn't really matter to you about the quality or anything like that, it's just like all for fun, then of course you don't have to do any of these things. You, you know, it's your channel. You can do whatever you want with it. Now, a couple of days ago, I actually tweeted out that if you had 200 subscribers or less for your game. Gaming YouTube channel to send it to me in the DMs and I got probably 20 people um, sending me their links I got more DMs and responses than I thought I would get to that tweet honestly especially because I didn't even tell you guys why I wanted you to DM me um, but a ton of people did and I actually wanted to make a video filming everybody's channel and talking about it and how you can improve it um, and then as I was recording that video I realized that it was about 30 minutes long I was going through 16 different channels and you know I felt like I was saying some of the same things over and over and over again and I was like you know what nobody's gonna watch a 30 minute plus video uh, about stuff like this let me just boil it down to some of the the biggest key things that you guys can do to grow your channel um, and kind of get more views in 2018 now the first thing that I want to talk about is channel artwork uh, and this includes not only the logo for your channel but the banner for your channel as well and the thumbnails on all of your videos that you post on YouTube now this is important be for uh, many different reasons but a lot of the people who submitted me their link you know obviously you guys are smaller YouTube channels you know under 200 subs is very very small on this platform and you know I think because you guys are small maybe you either don't have Photoshop don't know how to use Photoshop or GIMP of course you can use GIMP or some other free program you don't have to use Photoshop um, or maybe you just don't think it matters or you don't know to do it or something like that but really I want to emphasize this you know you have to have a channel that looks as professional as you can um, and you know maybe for your banner and your logo you can pay somebody five dollars to do that for you on Twitter or something like that if, if they're really good and then just learn how to do the thumbnails on your own because it it would get expensive if you paid five dollars per thumbnail that's not even something i would do and i have a bigger channel um so basically i just wanted to mention this because you know if you have a really good channel graphics then your channel looks professional and it looks like you really are consistent and active and you really care you know if you don't have any good logos or anything like that people are just gonna assume oh you know he just does this for fun like why would i subscribe to him because he's just kind of like messing around type of thing so that's one thing the thumbnails are an even bigger deal you really need to have bright colors in your thumbnails yellows reds lime greens you know even some uh, light blues sometimes look really good uh, but really mainly greens reds and yellows because those pop the most and you want to make sure that there's at least like one subject in the thumbnail you know maybe it's like uh, the main character of the game or maybe it's a picture of you or something like that that you kind that kind of pops out of the background and you want big bold text thick text um, and something that's really gonna draw the viewers attention you know again these thumbnails are what the what people are gonna see they always say don't judge a book by its cover well that's bullshit everybody judges a book by its cover and that applies to YouTube videos as well you want to make sure that your cover your your thumbnail is your cover you know this needs to be as best as you can make it it has to be as attractive as it can be and if it's very bright and has big letters then if it's if it shows up in the recommended sidebar people are most likely gonna notice that video as opposed to it being just some random thumbnail that YouTube picks where it's just you know just a picture of some random gameplay so you really want to control that that is like the biggest marketing tool that you have control over and you really want to make sure that your thumbnail look as good as possible the next thing I'm gonna talk about is the title in the description of your videos these things really need to have keywords right things that people are actually gonna search for because when your channel is really tiny uh, the odds of you putting Minecraft let's play in your title and that showing up in a search result is almost none because there are hundreds of thousands I'm sure of different videos that have Minecraft let's play in there and most of them have more views than you or they've been on the, the site longer so putting Minecraft let's play in your title isn't going to guarantee you views um, but what you want to do is put something that maybe fewer people have 
made videos about but are still getting a decent amount of searches and you can use Google AdWords to kind of see what the search trends are of certain things so don't just put like you know black ops 3 live commentary right you know that's not really gonna get too many views um, if you're really trying to grow your channel you're gonna need videos that have very specific titles that have multiple keywords in them right so that way you know it shows up in different search results where you know if you do um, you know you know uh, most kills on black ops 3 zombies or something like that or you know best gun in call of duty world war 2 something like that you know where yes it may have been done a ton of times but best gun in Call of Duty World War 2 is searched for fewer times than Call of Duty World War 2, right? Those are two different key uh, keywords, but Call of Duty World War 2 is actually in both titles, so it kind of works both ways. So you want to be more specific with your keywords, but also have those, you know, broader things in there. Um, this also works for the description too. So in your description, you need to have as many links to your social media profiles as possible. Put your Facebook page, Twitter, YouTube, or not your YouTube channel, but like your Twitch channel, um, your Instagram page, your your Snapchat handle. Uh, you want to put like your Tumblr account, your Google Plus page, literally everything. You want a ton of different uh, links in your description. You want to link to your sponsors. You want to link to literally everything that you can. Plus, you want to put in the description a little tiny little piece, maybe like a tweet's length of what you talk about in the video and include as many keywords in there as you can as well, because that is important. Um, I found that it, it's very helpful if you your keywords are in both your title and your description and the keyword section of your upload that'll make the video rank a bit better in search results than if you just put it in your title or just put it in the tags or something like that uh, and that brings me to my next point you want to use all of the tags that you can right you get 500 characters for your tags on YouTube at the time of making this video you want to use as close to that 500 as you can make sure to repeat the same one right so if you do call of duty then call of duty world war 2 and then you know if you do call of duty ww2 and then you do call of duty world war 2 best gun call of duty world war 2 best assault rifle so that way call of duty world war 2 shows up in your tags like as many times as you can um and you know this isn't uh this is not specifically against youtube guidelines because they are all separate keywords they're all separate tags um but you really are telling the algorithm like this is a video about call of duty world war ii and it you you basically support that claim with all this evidence where it's in the title it's in the description it's in the tags 10 times you know in, in all these different things so work on the title description tags and optimize them in all the different things that i just mentioned uh before one more thing about titles too the titles are another very good marketing mechanism that you can use just like your thumbnail i would suggest putting your titles in all caps just because at this point why not uh it's just it just gets more attention um you know might, you might get a little bit of hate for it because you look like a hype beast clickbaiter but just do it um and then make sure your titles have again keywords but also sometimes questions are good like is this the best gun in call of duty world war 2 question mark exclamation point or something like that because then it's a question people want to know I don't know is it and that's more of like a subconscious thought rather than a th like oh I really want to know like really they're just looking for something to watch and it you just you kind of see that and you're like oh let's just see what it, what he says you know you skip a minute in or something right but you still get that view which is important the next thing I want to talk about is upload consistency and then your actual content of the uploads right so you want to upload I would say at least once a week right you should probably upload more than that but at least once a week but also don't upload too frequently right if you upload multiple times a day your uploads will overlap and you know it'll kind of consume the views right where you know if you would have got let's say you get 25 views per video or let's say we get 10 views per video right and you upload once that day and instead of getting 10 views you upload again eight hours later now that's going to show up in some of the sub boxes instead of your first one so now you've got five views and then the other people who already viewed your first one might not see that second one in the sub box because they already watched a video from you today so then it's five and five so you really cannibalize your own viewer base so i wouldn't upload more than once a day um even for bigger channels i wouldn't really recommend that at all um but i would upload multiple times per week at least once a week if you really are pressed for time and if you do only upload once a week try and make it the best video that you can every single week and keep these things in mind um, every if you're the fewer you upload the more your uploads matter right they really have to be good videos so you know think of people who you know um, what's the guy who does content cop I really don't give a shit about him I can't think of his name because he sucks 
iDubs. His name is iDubs. Yeah. So he uploads like twice a year or something, you know, like, or once a month. I don't know. He barely uploads, but he gets millions of views every time because it's a very good video. Um, very entertaining for a lot of people. And he has a loyal fan base because of it. Right. But they're great videos. They're not just random bullshit. Right. So, you know, if you're going to upload infrequently, they have to matter. And one, two things I want you guys to keep in mind. Um, one is this a video that people are searching for, right? Are there people who are looking for this content, right? Um, not just something that you feel like uploading, but make sure it's something that there are people out there who can benefit from this video or that they want to watch something like this. And the second thing is, is this video shareable, right? Does this, does, does the content of this video make the viewer want to share it with their friends or to social media or to somebody else, right? That's very important. And it has to fit ideally both those things, but at least one, right? Cause you need to either show up in search results or you have to get people sharing the video around. Um, ideally you want both, but of course, like I said, at least one, uh, is, is very important. Now the, the next thing is actually the quality of the video itself. And this is the technical aspect, not the content of the video, the actual video itself. So you want to make it at least 720 P if not 1080 P. Um, I would say 60 frames per second is probably optional. I don't think it's mandatory. Like you don't have to do 60 frames per second to grow your channel. My videos are not 60 frames per second. And I do have an Elgato HD 60. I do have the ability to record in 60 frames per second, but I choose not to because it would take a long time to render to the videos a long time to upload the videos and i just would rather you know i think 30 frames per second i think it looks fine right i think my videos look fine in 30 frames per second as long as they're high quality hd 1080p um so that's important for me but again don't upload you know unless you really have no other choice you know if all you have is something that records in 360p or something then just go for it it's better to just start than not do anything but really you want to get those videos to at least uh 720p and i know like with a ps4 um share feature like there is a way to do that to get those clips right so you know th there are ways to do it so you want to do that again uh, with with that being said should i say uh you should ideally have a webcam uh, right like I know there are a ton of different people in the community who do commentaries and stuff without showing their face, um, but I think that it really does add an extra piece of quality to that content. You know, when I watch a video from a huge YouTuber and they don't have that webcam, it just feels lazy, right? Because you have to record the audio anyway, whether or not you're being filmed does not matter. Uh, and using Sony Vegas, whether or not you're cutting an audio track or cutting an audio video track, it takes the same amount of time. So I really see no reason why you shouldn't or wouldn't want to do that especially because it increases the production value makes the, the video look better i don't know maybe these people don't want to be on camera or they think they're ugly or they're insecure or they don't think that they have like the ability to be animated when they're talking or something i don't know what it is but really if you can show your face show your face because it it, it helps you know connect with your viewers they know what you look like they know you know what you look like when you're talking and 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 how you are as a person like in real life in flesh and i feel like that's important um, and also if you can put some overlays on the video, you know, put like a, a banner or, you know, something like that, that kind of flies in from the left that says, Hey, subscribe to my channel or something like that. You know, those things are important. They increase the production value. They make the video look like you really put a ton of time in and really like making a banner that, that that's upfront cost, right? Like, you know, if it takes you two hours to learn how to make a banner and really kind of make one that looks semi good you don't have to do it ever again, right? You just save it as a PNG file, drop it into Sony Vegas or whatever you use. And that's it. You just use it for every video from then on out. So you really just make it one time and then that's it. If you want to change it in the future, you can, if you get better at it, or if you have someone pay someone to make a better one, you can do that. But you know, for now I would say just make one just to make it look good, right? Just to make your videos look like you put a lot of effort and time into them because people notice it might not seem like a big deal, but people notice these tiny little things and they don't notice when it's there, but they do notice when it's not there. And I think that's what's most important. You know, if you have a bare bones channel, right? Where there's no webcam, there's no banner, the thumbnail isn't customized. There's hardly any channel artwork, you know, it's not any single one of those things will ruin your channel, but all of them together just makes it look like this channel isn't trying as hard as most of the other people out there. And I think that's important. Um, and also when you get a chance, upgrade your microphone, um, onboard microphones are notoriously bad at recording your audio. Um, so this is a blue Yeti. You do not need a blue Yeti to get bigger on YouTube. Um, a blue snowball is just fine. It has really good audio quality. Um, you guys can go whichever route you want. I know Razer makes really good microphones. So you guys can go whichever route you're looking to go. Um, you don't have to spend a hundred dollars, like I said, on a microphone, but if you want to, you can, and I do suggest 
buying something other than your onboard microphone, either on your webcam or on your laptop or whatever, uh, because it's just going to make it sound a lot better. And if the commentary sounds like garbage, you're not going to want to watch for a long time. Uh, and that brings me to my last point, and that is retention time. You want the video to be ideally ideally over 10 minutes because that seems to be like the little magic number um, where if the video is over 10 minutes YouTube tries to promote it more because you, it has the higher chance of getting a lot of watch time you know if the video is five minutes long even if somebody watches the whole video it's only five minutes um, but if it's a, it's it's a 12 minute video and somebody only watches half of it that's still a six minute watch time which is more than the full five minutes of the video so I would say try to push for over 10 and don't put in fluff just to reach that you know really try to be entertaining for 10 minutes um and and don't push and if you can't reach that 10 minute mark that's fine it's not gonna it doesn't mean your video is not gonna do well uh, a lot of times videos that are 30 seconds long will get millions of views because they're only 30 seconds long but you know it might not blow your channel up right so try and hit that 10 minute mark if you're doing commentaries but don't feel pressured to if you can't reach it or if your topic just isn't that interesting you can't talk about it for 10 minutes then don't do it but you know all i'm saying is if you can record a nine minute commentary see what you can do to make that maybe a little bit longer add some end credits or something and try and just get over that 10 minute mark if you're close because i think that'll help you out a little bit i think the last thing i want to say is kind of just you know this is a marathon not a sprint and i might have mentioned that earlier but that's very important uh and also um i want you guys to try and stick to a common theme right like for my channel it would be very weird if i uploaded let's say uh, a league of legends video right it wouldn't be like super like it's still gaming but like I don't think a huge there's not a huge overlap in the call of duty community with the league of legends community i don't know maybe there is and maybe i'm just delusional i mean they're both massive franchises so there must be some overlap but you know or if i upload like a pokemon video right uh you know or, or battery a pokemon red version video right like it came out t oh, 20 years ago so you know or actually more than that i think i think it came out in 25 years ago in japan but anyway regardless um try and stick to a common theme you know if you upload call of duty i would say maybe you could do overwatch or um you know uh rainbow uh tom clancy rainbow six you know you could do those things um but i wouldn't go too far right so don't go super far out there that way your viewers aren't like oh what is this garbage and i've learned this lesson the hard way multiple times um so just kind of stick to one theme and i think that'll help you grow your channel and then when you're super big then you can kind of say hey you guys know me as a personality rather than a call of duty youtuber you know me as a person do you mind if I upload a different gameplay or do you know, do you mind if I vlog or something like that? And I think you'll have a better success doing it later in the game than early. Um, and that's pretty much it guys. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you drop a thumbs up on this video. If I helped you in any way, all of the people whose video channels I was going to put in this video, I'm going to link all of you guys in the description. So make sure if you are one of the people in the description, view everybody else's link in the description, subscribe to everybody in the description below. And if everybody is subscribing to everybody, it'll benefit everyone else. So this is kind of like a big shout out to all. I think there were 16 of you guys that uh, sent me your links. So I'll put you guys all in the description below go down there, subscribe to all those guys because they're the reason that I'm making this video in the first place. Um, and they are small YouTubers who could use the support. And if you are a small YouTuber, go down there, subscribe to them, and then maybe shoot them a message on Twitter and see if you guys can <clears throat> either collaborate or sub for sub or something like that. Try and kind of build up the community a little bit. Um, and drop a, drop a like on this video. Like I said, subscribe with the bell turned on so you know the next time I upload. And that's about it, guys. So thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.